Now we will explore the silicon p n junction diode. A p n junction can pass electricity in one direction, but not in the reverse direction. So, we will see the effect of an AC signal on a p n junction and how to convert AC signal into DC signal using a p n junction. So, here we have our AC source here is marked as sign and let us connect that to the input A 1 and if you look at the screen here you can see there is an AC waveform. Now, what we will do is we will connect this signal to the diode here it is a silicon diode 1 and 4 and 4 8 and see what comes out what is after the diode after passing through the diode how it is modified. So, that we will watch in another channel. So, again move to the screen and assign channel A 2 to C H 2. Here you can see the half of the signal is missing the red is not coming to the lower half that means the negative portion of the signal is cut, but you also notice that the signal is not very clean because there is not much current passing through the diode now. So, what we will do is we will take a 1 k resistor and connect that from ground to the other end of the diode. That means, now some current is passing through the diode. Here you can see the AC signal is applied here and it is coming through the diode and then going to ground. So, now if you look at the signal here you can see the black trace is our original sine wave and the red trace is the rectified sine wave. The negative half is completely removed, but if you look at the positive half it is not completely coming out and this is the nature of the diode. You can see when this diode is conducting there will be a potential difference of something like 0.7 volts for a silicon diode that is why you find this difference and throughout you can see this difference here. I mean diode will start conducting only when crosses that threshold voltage. So, this is a correct rectified. So, this is called half wave rectification because only one half of the signal is appearing in the rectified output. Now, suppose say if you want to convert AC into DC, how we can convert this into a better DC and that can be done by connecting a capacitor parallel to this resistor, the load resistor. So, let us take for example, a 10 microfarad capacitor. So, we will connect a 10 microfarad capacitor and see how much difference it is making. So, parallel to the resistor I am connecting the capacitor. Now, if you look at the screen it is somewhat better. Now, you have a DC component, but there is a lot of ripple the AC component on that and this can be improved by increasing the capacitance. So, now we have seen the effect of a diode on an AC voltage. One half of the voltage is able to pass through the diode and in the reverse direction it does not allow. And we also explored how this half wave rectified waveform can be converted into a DC signal using a capacitor acting as a filter.